Here are four reasons why today's housing market is not about to crash. I'm Eve Metlis with Watson Realty with your Tuesday tip. A lot of people think the housing market is going to crash. Given some of the affordability challenges in the housing market, along with a lot of recession talk in the media, it's easy to understand why people think that. But the data clearly shows today's market is very different than it was before the housing crash in 2008. This is not a repeat of what happened back then. And here are four reasons why. One, it's harder to get a loan now. It was much easier to get a home loan during the lead up to the 2008 housing crisis than it is today. Back then, banks had different lending standards, making it easy for just about anyone to qualify for a home loan or refinance an existing one. As a result, banks took on much greater risk in both the person and the mortgage products offered. That led to mass defaults, foreclosures, and falling prices. It's different today as buyers face increasingly higher standards from mortgage companies. This graph uses data from the Mortgage Bankers Association to show this difference. The lower the number, the harder it is to get a mortgage. The higher the number, the easier it is. Two, unemployment recovered faster this time. The pandemic caused unemployment to spike over the last couple of years. The jobless rate has already recovered back to pre-pandemic levels. Things were different during the Great Recession as a lot of people stayed unemployed for a much longer period of time. Because so many people are employed today, there's less risk of homeowners facing hardship and defaulting on their loans. This helps make today's housing market stronger and reduces the risk of more foreclosures coming on the market. Three, there are far fewer homes for sale today. There were also too many homes for sale during the housing crisis, many of which were short sales and foreclosures, and that caused prices to fall dramatically. Today, there's a shortage of inventory available overall. This graph uses data from the National Association of Realtors and the Federal Reserve to show how the month's supply of homes available now compares to the crash. Today, housing inventory sits at just a 2.6 month supply nationally. There just isn't enough inventory on the market for home prices to come crashing down like they did in 2008. And four, equity levels are near record highs. The low inventory of homes for sale helped keep upward pressure on home prices over the course of the pandemic. As a result, homeowners today have a near record amount of equity. And that equity puts them in a much stronger position compared to the Great Recession. These graphs and info should ease any fears you may have that today's housing market is headed for a crash. The most current data clearly shows that today's market is nothing like it was last time. That's today's Tuesday tip.